right, so <clears throat> you've gone through these 11 com companies. Then what happens? So my 12th company, and you know, here's the, the thing that, you know, I was looking for the company, and you know, it would be I'd get excited and then get depressed and get excited and get depressed. And all the while I was going to uh, training seminars, I was listening to audio tapes back then. Um, in fact, I, was, I started to have success when audio tapes were still kind mm -hmm. of out there. Today, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. we've got CDs and MP3s and all that, but um, I, I stayed plugged in, and it wasn't, a, it wasn't like, oh, I have to do my personal development. I was craving it yeah, constantly. Yeah. I would read and listen to audio tapes. I'd climb up and down the mountain in Phoenix uh, listening to audio tapes, which just one? feeding. Uh, Squaw Peak, Squaw which Peak. today is yeah. Piastawa Peak. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, I did that for, for years, and they say when opportunity and preparation collide. And so in 1992, I joined my 12th company and started. It, I figured out how to sign up about one distributor per month. I went out and got, you got a few, your first distributor. I got my, I, what did I, that feel like? Do you know? I, I don't. I don't remember who the first distributor was in that company, but I. But I do know that um, I got. I got a rhythm going where I was signing up about one distributor a month, mm -hmm. and it, it averaged. My first year, I think I signed up 19 distributors in 24 months, and second year I signed up a few more. And uh, over the course of 13 years, I signed up 129 people, which, if you figure it out, comes out to less than one a month. It was 144 months in 13 years, and I signed up 129. And from those 120, and, and it was really just, I finally figured that out. Was a, that was a company, Excel Communications. Yeah, yeah? the telecom. <coughs> Excel t Communications back when lo um, telephone long distance right. was 10 cents a minute or 25. 30, 30 cents a minute. 30 cents a 30 minute. 30 cents a minute. Um, they, people would switch out their long distance, and this company became a phenomenon. Right. And, there was a uh, book written about <coughs> us, and... Uh, Became a huge, you know, the company was around for 16 years and company left me, I didn't leave them. Yeah. Um, the technology shifted. It's kind of like if you were in the uh, record player the business, vinyl record business and yeah. you owned the factories <coughs> and, the, and you yeah. had the employees and the loans and the infrastructure and then, that, then all of a sudden one day you've got CDs, that all goes away. That's what happened to us. It doesn't matter, but the, the bottom line was that I figured out how to consistently sign up about one distributor a month, and then I, I plugged people into the system that was in place within our company, and I got really good at promoting the system. Mm -hmm. And really, that's, re that's really all I did. And then out of those 129 people, and these numbers are pretty consistent among every, every single network marketing top leader, you'll find the numbers are pretty much the same. For every you know, 100 people that they've personally signed up, there's usually two or three that drive most of the business in terms of their organizations, and there's a few that do a little, and there's about a third that do nothing. And that just seems to be the numbers. And so in my business, it was the same thing. Out of 129 people, I had five people that drove 95% plus of all my income and in terms of their organizations. And then I had 124 people that did very little. They became customers or they quit. And... Uh, so that's kind of how, but the, the key was that I, 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 one was the, my mindset to stay consistent and continually show the business to people regardless of whether someone, you know, if I showed it to 10 people and none of them were interested, that didn't mean it wasn't going to work. It right. just means that some of them aren't ready now and they might come in later and I, I just need to go to the next one and the next one until I find the next one. And I did that. I just kept doing that. So part of it was just laser focus and consistently showing my business and meeting new people and introducing those, inviting them to take a look, and then, then consistently introducing them to my opportunity, knowing that some of them, when they expressed interest, I could then plug them in, get them on a conference call, invite them to an opportunity meeting, and then start to consistently bring people in. Out of those 120 <clears throat> or so over the course of that year, or over the course of that 10 years? Uh, the, uh, 13 years. 100, Thir 13 yeah. years? Mm -hmm. uh, 120? 129. 129 mm -hmm. people. How many of them did you know before you started mm -hmm. that company? Uh, probably it, just a handful of a the handful. ones I brought in. Yeah, I met a lot of them over the course of yeah, the time that just, I was there. You would there. meet people. Right. But, so but, people but, who are saying, well, you know, gosh, I've been in like two network marketing companies, so I have no chance of having a future because everybody I know mm -hmm. knows that I tried these other two things, so I don't have any chance. Right. But you, you had 11. Yeah, and actually when I look at it, you know, I worked for a major airline that had thousands of people. Some of those people I met, um, you know, throughout the course of my career at the airline. And in the early days, my first year and a half or so, I would invite people from 
my job mm -hmm. that I knew that were low risk, people that I knew that, you know, and I did get in trouble at the airline. I did, okay, for doing network marketing and trying to manage a staff of employees, a small staff of employees at the airline. But I was, I was being very careful about it. And the people that I knew that I could trust, I would invite them to go get coffee. And then at the time, again, my income was significantly under $20,000 a year at the airline. And I did not have money to buy people lunch. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we would go, to, I could not buy people lunch three or four days a week. So what I would do is I'd pack my lunch. And then we would go and, and we'd go to a coffee place and I could buy them coffee. Mm -hmm. Or if they wanted to be buy my lunch, they could do that. And I started with a yellow pad and a black or blue felt tip pen. I drew circles and explained the program and gave them brochures and said, I think this is going to be big. And that's kind of how I started my business. And, and over the course of those uh, 13 years, how much did you earn approximately? Eight, eight million bucks. Eight mm -hmm. million dollars. So 11 companies, not one recruit. Then he has a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. Sponsors over the course of the, that period of time, 129, 129 mm -hmm. people, and developed an income of eight million dollars. That's right. Now, that's a great success story. But then you had your heart broken. 